The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone, consistently dry on the eastern half of the country as we have been for the past few days, but the rain that was falling on Burning Man is still out there, so there's not much relief coming that direction yet. I want to switch this over and show you the dew points right now, just so that we can see that the temperatures are not quite as intense, or rather the moisture is not quite as intense on the eastern side of the country as it could be right now. Now there is a good amount of moisture concentrated towards the deep south, reaching up the Mississippi Valley and even into the Ohio Valley. But for us, humidity has stayed moderate. And as our temperatures have increased, we can handle a little bit higher dew point without the humidity being so bad. The dew point is usually a better measure to use than relative humidity because that can be different. So that's like the percentage of humidity when you hear it's 100% humidity outside. The dew points though getting up into the 50s and 60s even as our temperatures get towards the 90s mean that a lot of our relative humidity, the percentage is in the 40s. So it's a pretty good sign for us that we're not going to be too humid even as this high pressure starts to bring in more and more warmth from the south and west. Now as a low pressure starts to get towards us, that is going to bring in some showers here and there. Again, I think our best chance of getting some storms with that is on Thursday. Friday might be a little bit more consistent rain, but none of these exactly look impressive right this minute. That'll continue off towards the east and after that front, especially by the time we get towards Saturday and Sunday, we're going to be calmer and cooler without too much shower activity. But first, we got to deal with a lot of heat for Labor Day itself. We're getting up towards 90 degrees with the NRV just under the 90 mark. Highlands making it there and Lynchburg getting up to 95. So mid 90s there. We're looking even warmer for Tuesday. Now you can still spend some time outside on Labor Day. I would just say try to go either earlier or later when the temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler with lows down into to the 60s. If you're out at 9, 10 in the morning, it might still be in the 70s or 80s when you can enjoy that a little bit more easily. I also wanted to show you the future tracker for the heat index to go through Monday in the afternoon. A lot of the heat index is going to be pretty similar to what the actual temperature is. Then it feels a little extra warm on Tuesday morning, two or three degrees warmer than that actual temperature. And then again, Tuesday afternoon, even when we're at our hottest, I think a lot of the heat index there stays below 100, just a little bit above what the actual temperature is because the humidity is relatively low. Tonight we stay in the 60s for our lows. Blacksburg at 62 and Danville at 66. That follows a pattern we saw through the end of last week. Monday for Labor Day is going to get up into the 90s, except for the NRV in parts of the Highlands. Hot Springs at 83, Pulaski at 88, compared to South Boston at 95. Even warmer than that on Tuesday, with most of us in the mid to upper 90s. And then we slightly come down on Wednesday. Roanoke's not too much of a difference, but our temperatures are a little bit closer to 90 than they are to 100. We continue to cool with temperatures into the mid 80s by the weekend, and I think Thursday is our best chance of storms. But again, they're pretty isolated there. Got up to 93, just one off for today, putting us at $30 for the month so far.